All right, guys, on to lesson 3.7 here. We're going to get into negative powers. So when the exponent or the power is a negative number. So here's uh, how it goes. So let's say, let's do just 3. 3 to the negative 2. I'm just going to write out this progression. 3 to the negative 1, 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1, 3 to the 2. Okay, we'll start over here because you, you guys know these. 3 to the 2, 3 times 3, well, that's 9. 3 to the 1, well, it's just 3, right? 3 times itself once. 3 to the 0, we mentioned this earlier, but maybe you forgot. Anything to 0 power is actually 1. So you might think this would come out to be 0, but it actually anything, whatever it is to the 0 power, always is 1. Okay, how do we do negative 1? Well, it really means flip it over the fraction. So I'm going to take this 3 and flip flip it like this. I'm going to say 1 over 3 to the 1. Okay, so I'm going to put 1 over 3 to the 1, and then it'll be a positive 1 there. Okay, so in other words, it's 1 third. Okay, 3 to the negative 2 <clears throat> is going to be 1 over 3 to the 2. So I just flip it into the bottom of the fraction, basically, and make it a po positive power. So really, it's 1 over 9. Okay, if you look at the progression going backwards, I divided by three to get from here to here, divided by three again. Okay, now I do one divided by three is actually one third. One third divided by three is actually one ninth. So it does make sense if you think about that progression. All right, let's do a couple more examples that you'll see on your assignment. Do three examples. So let's say three to the negative two times three to the four. Okay, well, let's look at what this is first. This was one over nine, right? Um, three to the four, that's just three times three times three times three times three. So three times three is nine, nine times three is 27, 27 times three is 81. In order to multiply it though, I'm gonna make it 81 over one. And then you can uh, cross cancel or just, you can, let's cross cancel it out because we're multiplying, you can cross cancel like that, divide these both by nine. So really this just comes out to be nine over one. When I multiply across, so it's actually just nine in this case. Okay, uh, example two, what if it's something with more with adding six to the negative two plus three minus five to the negative two. All right. Now let's look at six and negative two first. That's one over six squared, one over 36, right? This is gonna be negative two to the negative two. Okay, so it's one over negative two squared, okay? I keep this the same. I just put flip it to the bottom and make this a positive power in the bottom. There you go. All right, so this still stays negative two, but the power now is positive when I flip it in the bottom. So a negative power means flip it in the bottom, in other words. Okay, 136 plus, well, negative two times negative two comes out to a positive anyways. So it's really 136 plus one fourth. Get a common denominator, what times by nine? So we're talking 136 plus 936. Um, 1036 is 518. Looks like it's my final answer. Okay. Uh, one last thing I want to show you is with the fraction. You know, if you had a fraction to a negative power, let's say you have two thirds to the negative three. Okay. The easy way to do that is, is think of more like flipping. That's going to be the same as three over two to the third. Okay, so when you flip this, um, it actually changes it to a positive power. So it's the same idea, you know, we're flipping, you know, the idea of flipping it, if it's a negative power, you flip it in the bottom. It's a similar idea, you know, it's just we're gonna flip this fraction, the whole fraction over, okay? So it's really three over two times three over two, right? Oops, times three over two, three times, nine, three times three is nine, nine times three is 27. Two times two is four, four times two is eight. I don't think that reduces. 
All right. So those are the skills you need to do your assignment today. Good luck.